so uh, my name is Eva Vele and I am manager uh, for partnerships program uh, in Wikimedia Czech Republic and uh, I would like to introduce you open collections research uh, which deals uh, with the digitalization and accessibility of museums and uh, galleries collections uh, on internet. Uh, as research is uh, intended uh, for the general public and uh, applies to all institutions, including uh, the small ones, uh, it's published only in Czech, uh, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter because the most important thing on this research are numbers and everything else I can translate uh, in Czech. So, uh, so uh, let's start. Uh, as you can see, the first number uh, on the uh, web page is how many museums and galleries are in Czech Republic. And the second big number and important number is uh, how many uh, art pieces, uh, artifacts and technical pieces, uh, natural pieces uh, are in those collections. Uh, it's a pretty big number. It's uh, over the 26 uh, million uh, things. And as you can see, only 5.2% uh, uh, is digitalized. So there's something like million uh, from it. It's uh, only a little piece of this whole big uh, group of uh, art pieces and things we would like to know and see on internet. And uh, also the difficulty is uh, difficulty on it is that uh, more mostly um, they are not on internet. They are only digitalized. That's a good thing for us, but we cannot see them because they are not uh, somewhere on internet. They are on hard disk somewhere uh, closed in some depositor of those institutions. So what we are trying to do with this research uh, is to know why institution digitalized why if they digitalized doesn't uh, doesn't uh, have uh, any catalog online with those art pieces and why they uh, don't want to be uh, seen on internet. Uh, Open Collections uh, is a project that was uh, founded uh, three years ago, uh, actually <laughs> like two years ago, but uh, if it was uh, in 2020, there are already three uh, research uh, that was done. So that's why uh, that's why I uh, said that uh, it's three years and not two. And it was founded by uh, two students of uh, University of Art and Design uh, with uh, with uh, Lukáš Pilka, that is PhD student of Umprum and uh, master student Teresa Šklárová. And Teresa uh, was uh, a leader of PR and new technologies part of uh, uh, this research. And Lukáš Pilka uh, is a digital designer and media theorist focusing on interactive and communication design and contemporary technologies. And also a main, uh, main inventor and uh, initiator of uh, this research because he is also a cre creator of experimental application uh, digital curator because he's originally a programmer and IT developer uh, he is uh, mainly dependent on free culture and free access and that's maybe uh, why open collection uh, project was even born because uh, of his dependency on a free culture I will show you this uh, web page, uh, his project, the Digital Curator, because I think it's really important to understand why it is so important uh, to have access to those uh, digitalized uh, uh, collect items uh, from museums and galleries. As you can see, he developed an uh, app that uh, is uh, called Digital Curator, and you can use it uh, for uh, uh, found some exhibition based on motifs. As you can see, you can uh, put there some motif. We can try like human face and maybe we can try, I don't know, horse. And uh, you can see uh, if you uh, if you use it, you can see that there are something like 286 artworks uh, from years uh, from 14th century uh, to uh, 21st century, where are horses and uh, people. 
Also, you can see how many of them are from which centuries. It's a pretty fantastic thing. But uh, as you can see, uh, there are only a few of them uh, because uh, only a few of them are online and accessible for researchers and for students uh, of uh, any kind of study. So uh, it's really important to have those uh, collection items online because uh, uh, in uh, this age of uh, of uh, digitalized items and internet and everything, it's really important to use uh, internet uh, during the study. And uh, it's only um, possible way how to do is when you have uh, those collect uh, collection items uh, online. So maybe that's the reason why he decided to co-found open collections and why he decided to uh, start with this research and uh, why he also somehow start to find uh, support uh, supporters uh, like Wikimedia Czech Republic or Art and Antique or Art Talk. Uh, those last two are the biggest uh, art media that are uh, mostly readable, not only in, uh, uh, in art society, but also in general public. So everything started uh, 2020 uh, during the pandemic uh, when open collection research uh, was firstly published and it was really a good thing because during the pandemic over, uh, over more than 95% uh, of galleries and museums uh, were closed uh, according to an ICOM report. So it was uh, really important uh, to know if there is any possible way how to get to uh, art pieces and uh, uh, collection items uh, without uh, need to go uh, physically to institution. Uh, this first uh, research uh, has um, resulted in a relative large 65% uh, increase in digitalized objects between 2020 and 2021. Uh, it was increased from 2.9% to 6.5%. Uh, that is still almost nothing, uh, unfortunately. Uh, even if this is like big increase, 65%, as you can see, it's only from 2.9, that's 3%, to something like 7% from all of those collect items. Uh, and uh, set information on it is that uh, the increase uh, is, slower, is slower next year. That means in the research from 21 to 2022. Uh, because uh, the pandemic situation was uh, better than the last year. So uh, that's why Lukash started to uh, find some sympathizers and some other institution that would be able to help him with this research. And he, uh, and he find us, the Wikimedia Czech Republic. Um, and he started to cooperate with us uh, on this, this last research in 2022. And uh, because uh, we had uh, a few cooperations uh, in institutions as museums and galleries and libraries and other things, uh, so it was easier to, uh, to get uh, their opinion on digitalization than last year's. Uh, so now we can look at the research itself so you can see how it looks like. Uh, each year the central collection register is uh, consulted to see how many objects are available uh, at the online catalogs uh, and uh, how many of uh, these things were digitalized per year. Also, a mailing list uh, is uh, sent to all of those institutions uh, with an increasing trend of between 60 to 70 institutions responding. And uh, this year it was uh, more than 77 uh, institutions. Uh, if you can uh, see my, uh, my uh, page here, you can see that uh, uh, the biggest collection is in National Museum, 
uh, and also uh, the biggest number of digitalized items. But unfortunately, uh, from those uh, items that are online is only a few digitalized items you can see freely because the, they are un, under the uh, authority law. Um, authority law. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, doesn't matter because you cannot see you cannot use them freely because uh, because uh, authority law forbids it. So uh, it's uh, it's research only about uh, how many items were digitalized. Uh, but uh, down uh, down on the page, you can also see how many uh, institutions uh, using this digitalization um, uh, with the notice that uh, they want to publish it uh, freely on the internet. So you can see like this, <laughs> the big research and only like few institutions uh, from them uh, respond to our research and only few of them uh, have something online. Uh, so here you can see other, uh, other answers uh, in questionnaire. Uh, it's how many uh, European museums uh, answer the question about uh, their online catalog, uh, how they are used uh, those uh, digitalized items. And you can see that only few of them uh, use it, uh, or only few of them are used uh, for uh, commercial usage. Other things are for research, uh, for study, uh, for personal uh, happiness from, uh, from it that you can see it on internet, for creative usage and other things. So um, many, uh, many times institutions are afraid of, uh, of um, put those digitalized items on internet because uh, they will be uh, used only commer in a commercial way. But uh, in this research, you can see that uh, is uh, that uh, this is not true. Um, in Czech Republic, uh, you can see how many. Uh, institutions answer that uh, digitalization is better uh, in their institution. Uh, you can see, unfortunately, that many of them, many of them is more than 30% uh, answer that uh, there is uh, no improvement uh, in their institution about digitalization. Uh, it's mainly uh, because they don't have uh, money, they don't have uh, people, and the most important thing is they don't understand uh, law and they are afraid that if they will uh, put uh, digitalized items on internet, they will somehow uh, be uh, in a problem with, uh, with uh, some lawyers and with some, uh, with some law. So that's we uh, started uh, that, that's we started to uh, cooperate with open collections with Wikimedia Czech Republic because uh, we can uh, easily uh, speak and teach institutions about uh, about law, about uh, public domains, uh, about uh, possibilities of uh, uh, using Creative Commons license and other things. And also we can help uh, them to uh, be visible on the internet. Uh, with uh, Wikimedia Commons or Wikidata and with uploading uh, their uh, digitalized items uh, on internet. Starting next year, we are taking research completely uh, under our wing, uh, which is why this year we are filling the new position of free culture ambassador and advocate who will take over the research and continue to influence institutions to digitalize their content and then enhance it for free use uh, while offering them our partnership support that could solve their capacity problem or their problem with some technology or, or their problem with, uh, with the law. Uh, so I guess that is uh, all for me. From me, uh, if you will have any questions, you can uh, reach me on my email eva.vele at uh, wikimedia.cz. Uh, uh, 
or uh, you can reach us also with our website uh, that is uh, uh, wikimedia.cz. Thank you. <laughs>